What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Byron, aka the Motown Hustler, aka the Grass Assassin, coming at you with another video. I don't really, I don't really have much to say today. I, I got a half day, pretty much today. Um, the weather's been good to me this week, so uh, I'm pretty much caught up. But what I did want to say is, when you're in this lawn care business especially when you're a solo guy and you get to interact directly with uh, the customers. Um, a lot of times you can get the, this, uh, this false notion of some level of friendship, you know, especially if you, if you're new to the industry, you get the impression that uh, these customers or your friend and in some cases they can be but a lot of times these customers don't they don't care about you or your business you know and, and the reason I say that is because when you out we, we get out there and we service these lawns in extreme uh, temperatures and conditions and whatnot and it's exhausting. It can be a, a health risk at times. And they'll come out with uh, with these uh, unreasonable expectations of what their line is supposed to look like. You know, especially if it hadn't been kept up for a while, you go in and then uh, it doesn't, the end result doesn't look the way they envisioned it in their mind. And then they want to not pay you. You know, and you know you did the best possible job that could be done on the lawn. Uh, you were out there in the heat, sweating, you know, and then they have the audacity to not want to pay you. It's fine if you're not satisfied. And if you want to go with another company going forward, that's fine. But a guy that's out there working his butt off in this, uh, this, ridiculously hot weather you know he, he deserves to be compensated he deserves to be compensated you know and um, the other part is you know a lot of times we have to make adjustments to accommodate some of these uh, customers uh, I had recently I had uh, a customer that needed some debris moved off of their, their property and the way I run my setup, I don't really have room on my on my rig, on my on my trailer, on my truck to remove debris. So in order for me to do that, I'm gonna have to make two trips to the property. I'm gonna have to uh, make a trip to service the property, mow it, trim it, edge it, and blow it. Uh, go and drop my uh, mowers off so my my uh, trailer is empty. Come back and put the debris on the trailer. But because when I started the process of, of serv servicing the customer, they, were, they weren't home. So I, I, I cut the lawn, I left to uh, take uh, my equipment off my trailer so I could uh, remove the debris, but they had came home before I got back. So they're upset walking around the house, in and out of the house, upset, complaining, you know, uh, about me slighting them in some way or whatnot. And then I pull up to uh, to take the debris off it, and I can see it all over their face. I say, y'all y'all was about to complain and leave me a bad review, weren't you? Like, yeah, we were, we were 38 hot. We was about to call you and, and, and go off. I'm like, look, y'all <laughs> wasn't even going to give me a chance, you know, but it, it's, it worked out. They were, they were real, they were real nice at, um, at, uh, once everything was, was discussed and whatnot. It was real nice, you know, helpful in fact, you know, so, I mean, I just think when we go into this business, we just have to as service providers have to have a realistic 
expectations of, of how our customer is going to interact with us. We have to uh, make sure our customers understand and have really realistic expectations of what the results and what the, the property maintenance process is going to entail. So I think on both sides require a a higher level of communication to keep from getting these, you know, these miscommunications and, and, and these ill feelings towards one another, you know. And I think the benefit of being a solo lawn care provider is that you get to have these interactions with the customer. I don't ha I don't often have many issues with my customer because I do try my best to communicate and try to let them know when I show up in there and the yard hasn't been maintained for several months and it and it and it's complete trash. You know, I, I make sure I tell them like when I finish, your yard is not gonna look good. It's gonna be a process to getting it in shape, like working out. You know, so and I make sure I tell all my new customers that I made sure that um I, I, I typically don't take one-time services and I get a lot of requests to do one-time services because the yard is in such horrible condition and they don't know where to start to maintain it on their own. But, you know, my, the, the issue that I have been having is they want to agree to the reoccurring service. And once I complete that first service, uh, prior to me doing the follow-up services, they want to cancel service because I got the yard back in shape. And now, you know, after I've told them, I, you have to get on a reoccurring schedule with me. And so I don't have contracts, you know, um, and I, I never wanted contracts, but it's, it's, it's becoming a, a necessity to a degree you know, and, but before, before actually establishing a, a process of just putting all my customers on a contract, what I do is I, I get them to put a card on file. I'm like, look, I mean, I don't have contracts. You can cancel. You can cancel at any time. You can, but if you want me to service your 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 line. You know, I don't do one-time services, so you're gonna have to agree agree to at least three consecutive uh, services. You know, and if you want to cancel after that, you know that's fine. But you know, still, I get people that want to cancel before that, and you know, I'm not about to go out there and cut the yard anyway, and process a charge on their card because then they're just uh dispute the charges and at, at the end of the day I won't get my money so you know but once you once you establish a good relationship with, with a customer everything usually goes smoothly they usually are understanding I tell them that you know in order for my business to continue to grow and for me to one day be able to provide opportunities for other people, I have to establish something that's consistent, you know, because I'm gonna I'm gonna have certain responsibilities and commitment to uh, my potential employees and to make sure they have adequate hours, make sure they have a consistent schedule. And I can't do that if I have customers counseling or you know or not paying so, so you know i try to put systems in place to combat that and 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 i'm pretty upfront with my customers about that so that is so that they have a level of understanding and so and then also with establishing those relationships that helps me to have my customer make a decision on continuing service with me apart from the price even if my prices is uh higher than some of, of my competition 
you know, they still have a, a level of understanding with me and say, yeah, you're cheaper than my guy, but me and my guy have, you know, uh, understanding. And I think that's important. So I just want to put that out there for you guys. You know, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Hit the comments, like, subscribe, holler back at your boy.